this video, we're going to do a little bit of Tech Friday here. We're going to analyze some tech stocks that just had earnings this past week. Now, we're going to mainly focus on the big boys, Amazon, Apple, etc. So let's get right into it here. We're going to look at Amazon here, currently trading at 33.82. Um, we ended the day at 33.72, but currently we are down around 64 bucks on the day, 33.82. But really, we ended down. Uh, or close $74 down. But anyway, still a green day in here if you're looking at it from that point of view. Um, but obviously with that earnings report, we are um, down and we almost completely filled the gap from where we opened. So that is always good. We got above that 50 day or the 50% FIB retrace. We are above the 200 day moving average. So that is good in here. RSI didn't reset a whole lot, uh, nor did the stochastics. Um, thought it would just a little bit, but we still are staying in here up in overbought territory, but we might have to reset that just a little bit before we start working our way higher. IV in here, obviously we had an IV crush, um, but there's still a little lingering IV in here um, because of that big move that we had this morning. We can kind of dig in deeper here on the 30 minute chart. You can see that really just kind of grinding all day um, up until about midday, um, kind of set kind of stagnant. And then finally that end of the day push that we had um, was a nice little pop for us, nice little cherry on top um, recovery here um, off of earnings. So on the daily, what are we looking at? Well, we mentioned we are above that 50% FIB retrace and that 200-day moving average. So those are both of those are going to be um, big supports for us. Um, you can see there were supports and resistances for us in the path. That's going to be right here. Um, so as recent as four weeks ago, this was a hard resistance for us. Um, about a month and a half ago, a nice support for us. That level is currently going to be right around that 33.25. And then above that, we are going to be looking at the 50-day moving average for a immediate support, which is going to be right at 33.72. Resistance-wise, we'll be looking at, well, that nine-day EMA, we're right up against it right now, 33.84. Keep an eye on that, as well as this 38.2 FIB level, which is going to be trading right around that 34.30 mark right now. Above this, we have this odd little resistance up here, right around the 34.63s. And this was actually a nice support for us here in the beginning of September. So therefore, um, supports turn into new resistances. We had this resistance hit here um, al almost a week and a half ago. So therefore, that is going to be a, a nice resistance for us in here again. So if we do get above that 38.2, um, don't think big psychological hole numbers. Think that 34.63 area as a big resistance. IV rank in here, as we mentioned, um, a little juice still left in here. IV rank at 11. Raw IV of around 80 by um, I'm sorry, raw IV of right around 20% by next Friday, $83 expected move in there. Following week, about a buck 15, everybody's pricing in $115. November monthly is everybody's pricing in right around 143. You go out to December, everybody's pricing in right around $224. And basically your raw IV is in all of these right around that 25% area. So again, just to reiterate, um, good news on the recovery front. We um, closed today above the 50% FIB retrace, above the 200-day moving average, and above the 50-day moving average here on the daily. All good news. Um, watch those three levels for a nice support for us in the future. Watch the nine-day EMA and keep an eye on that 38.2 FIB for a immediate um, resistance in here going forward. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to check us out on our social media. We have attached links to our socials in the description, and we also have a trading service if you're interested. There's more information in the description below.